now. And it's, the tyres are past their little peak when they're brand new because he's done um, four laps on them now. So that's a super fast pace from Alexander Wurtz straight away. And but look how they're pulling away as well. The, the, those two Toyotas are leaving the Volkswagen Audi family group just to have their own battle amongst themselves. I mean, take the Toyotas away and it's situation normal, but those Toyotas are moving ahead. Well, you saw Neil Yarny pulling alongside the number two Audi there with the number 14 Porsche. That car not short of speed in a straight line. But don't forget, Porsche have run this Le Mans aero package all year long. They have never trifled with anything else. He's in the slipstream. Be great to see what the speed looks like there, but you've got to think it's up to 320 kilometers an hour and change probably. <laughs> That's, what you've that's got. The, what they're topping here, Stuart, in, in, the, in the slipstream. What you've got now is Lotter past Neil Yarny in the twisty stuff, and that's where the Audi's very, very good. But uh, in this next section is where the Porsche is very good. It's all the long stuff where the straight line speed and the low drag of the Porsche, as you can see, Lotter getting eaten up there by Neil Yarny in a straight line. They're side by side coming down to Indianapolis Around now. Around the kink, that's Goodness just me. so hairy. But all Lotterer needs to do now, Lotterer needs to hold on for the next sort of half a mile until they get to the Porsche curves. And when they get to the Porsche curves, that slightly high downforce Audi is going to come into its own. You should be able to pull enough of a gap.